Okay, so here's how you build out a search inside Zoom Info to find your entire TAM and also find people within the TAM that have recently raised around the funding. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. From there, we're going to select the industry we want to prospect into. It's going to be software. We're going to do for the headcount. I don't want to work with, or I can't work with, in this case, anybody with less than 250 heads and more than 1,000. And in this case, um, it has to have a minimum of 25 salespeople in the organization for me to sell to them. We're going to select the location for the United States. All right, so now we have narrowed it down to 988 people. Now, what we want to do here is, first of all, save the search. So anytime there's a new company that hits, you know, becomes qualified and hits inside my TAM, you know, maybe they hire 100 new people or maybe they decide to hire five more salespeople and that tips it over the 25 minimum mark. Whatever it is, is I want to find out right away the second somebody becomes viable to me to sell to. So in this case, I'm going to do an entire tip. All right. You can select a notification alerts here. You can do daily, weekly, or none. I'm going to select daily. So I'm going to save that. So anytime somebody new comes within the TAM now is I'll find out. So now I want to tag this. And the reason I want to tag it is because I, let's say I want to build out more complex searches in the future, or I want to do things and I don't want any overlap with people I've reached out to or people I was thinking about reaching out to. I want to really segment it. This is where exclusions will come in handy. And the only way you can exclude is if you tag the companies. So let's say I want to tag these companies. I already built this out, but we'll say entire TAM. I simply tagged them. I already did. And then from here, I simply select who I want to exclude. So it was at 988, and now it's at 890. So I don't have to worry about contacting those people anymore. Now, we're still pretty broad in the search. Now, this is our entire TAM. So I have 988 company, possible companies I could sell to in the software industry. So now what I want to do is I want to find the most qualified companies. I want to find the cream of the crop. I want to find the people that just got a bunch of money and they're looking to spend it, burning a hole in their pocket. So from here, we're going to select financials. And we're going to select the funding round was raised in the last month. Now, a very important distinction to make here. You want to make sure under funding round types, you put angel seed, uh, perhaps part of an equity, series A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And the reason why we want to do that is because I'm specifically looking for people that raised these types of rounds of funding. I'm not looking for debt funding or grants or share of placement or stock issuance or offering. I'm looking for just people that raised funding. Good. So from here, I now have three companies. Perfect, so I have Wasabi, Site Tracker, and so on. Then what I wanna do is I'm gonna tag these companies. Cool, so these are people that have recently got a new funding graph. And this is gonna be useful. So in the future, if I want to target companies that uh, we'll say I have a funding round in the last six months or whatever it is, or I want to segment it, or let's just say I want to exclude them. The exclusionary thing is where it's going to become very handy is I can simply select them from my exclusion list. And then we're going to select new funding round, exclude, and they're gone. Pretty straightforward. You can also alternatively, if you don't want to build out a search each time or save a search, is if you tag the accounts, you can simply select the tag from here and then it'll only show people that you tagged now from here it's pretty straightforward to build out a contact search is you simply click the contact tab and then select your filters now one more thing on this search here these companies that have recently raised these types of funding rounds in the last month is if we save this search i will get a notification anytime people inside of my TAM get a new funding round. So I'm sure you can see the utility of this. It's incredible powerful. I highly recommend you do it. I'm not going to show it again because I've already done this, but this is very valuable. So the second somebody gets a funding round, you'll know. So, all right, that's the extent of this. Um, perfect, thank you.